embedding Google Maps into your article is a great way of getting an extra little boost. I'm Ron from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Maps into an article. Let's jump into it. So as you can see, I've got Google Maps open here. This is where you're going to need to start. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to embed the Google Maps into a Duda, into a Duda blog and a WordPress article. So we'll be able to embed the maps into both types of website builders. Uh, Duda is very, very similar to your Squarespace's, your Wix. However, it's just it's the next level. It's not WordPress, but it's not as complex. So a lot of people are starting to utilize this. Even I use a lot of the test sites that we have are on Duda. So it's very, very cool. So let's jump straight into it. When you uh, want to embed the maps, you want to start with Google Maps. So anything that you want to embed. So if you wanted to embed your business as an example, I'll, I'll just give you um, a straight up example. Here we are. So if you want to embed your business perhaps into the article, all you need to do is call what you're looking for. You click on the three lines right here, okay, like I just did there, and you scroll down to the share or embed map, and that's where you go. However, we're looking to embed something for Bradfordville, so we want to input these locations because we have articles talking about a certain area, talking about something, so we want to embed that. So as you can see on my Duda site over here, let's get rid of that and zoom this bad boy out a little bit because that is awfully close. So this article, whenever it wants to load, what does an electrical con uh, contractor uh, in Florida uh, charge? This is what we're going after. So we're talking about Florida. So perhaps putting an embed might give you a little bit of a boost. So for our maps, let's just type in Florida. Okay, so this is bringing up Florida. So what we can do is we click on the lines over here. You scroll down to the share or embed map, click on that. Now you have two options. You can copy it as a link or you can copy it as the frame. So you can have an iframe, which is more suitable and what you want copy HTML and you can either hover over or click literally the copy HTML. Okay, so let's go back over to the Duda site. Now, Duda, again, like it's very similar to your Wix. It's very similar to your Squarespaces. It's a great uh, builder. It's quite cheap. Um, so yeah, it's check it out. I'll have a link. Everything I talk about today, guys, there's, there's a link down below. But if you want an inexpensive website builder and something that is a drag and drop still, this is a good place to start. So what we can do is we're in the blog, we click on the widget. Now we're looking for a HTML. With uh, Duda, you can put their map across, but you want, you want Google's map. So as you can see right here, we've got the HTML widget. We just drag that where we want that to be. And then now it's, it's dropping. So what we need to do, just come over here paste so paste that information that we had so this is an iframe basically it's just a snippet to say it's stolen not stolen but it's basically gotten a piece of uh, content from one page uh, to another so as you can see here's a map so now the map is actually on that page now depending upon how your CSS is structured uh, and how like how wide your pages are and how you have it all structured is where the map is going to sit. So you're going to need to uh, play around with that. I'm not really going to show. I'll show you how to do it on this just in case uh, someone wants to know. But if you want to muck around with the iframe size of it, all you need to do is scroll across and you'll see the width and the height. So as an example, if I change this to 1200 update, now this will span across my page. So that's one way you can do it. However, I would suggest having an actual uh, updating your CSS. So this happens automatically. Uh, whenever there's an embed, like a map embed or a particular iframe uh, placed on your site, it just does it automatically, especially if this was a, a tactic that you were looking at implementing. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's uh, the 
Google Maps has been embedded into the article, the Duda article. So all we need to do is republish the post. Now that's it for Duda. So now we'll jump over to the WordPress and I'll show you how to uh, embed the Google Map into the WordPress article. So or as you can see, back end here, we're in the posts. So you just click on posts when you're in your uh, website back end. Click on to that. So click on whatever post that you're looking uh, to embed it on. Now with WordPress, WordPress is pretty much the exact same when it comes to this stuff. So you can scroll all the way down and we want to add down the bottom here. So again, it'll be HTML, depending upon how the, the theme of your website. So whatever theme you have for your post, this will be a little bit different, but all you need to look for is something like custom HTML, perhaps HTML or code snippet. Uh, you could even have a map embed, but this is basically the little click icon. You will have a little uh, uh, addition symbol right there. So that's where you can come along and you can click and on this will display all of these additional uh, extra things that you can add in here. So you can add the spaces. However, I wouldn't go tinkering around with it too much. We just want the HTML. So, HTML. okay. So what we're going to do as an example, this is talking about Australia, this article. So uh, we can use Australia. So here we go. So now I've just picked up all of Australia and I can literally embed that. So I can embed the Google map of Australia into my WordPress article. So same thing. You hit the three lines, you hit the, let me just go back and show you again. So hit the three lines, share or embed the map. Okay, you click on that. You will have the share link, which you can, can place in if it is a little bit of a, uh, a heavier builder, but you mainly want to focus on the iframe. A couple of things you can do is you can do the custom size. So if you know the span of your website and how big you want the actual thing, you can place custom size and you can put it across here. So you can have it as 800, 1200, whatever it is that you want it to, to present like. So all you need to do is that, copy HTML. And it's exactly the same thing as, as Duda. Come over here. Now we place the HTML code in. And again, depending upon what WordPress website builder, this will be slightly different for you. Perhaps when you paste the code in, everything will automatically happen. But for me, I need to preview. I need to hit the preview button for me to be able to see what is actually going on. So there we go. So we can go update. We can click that. So now this is updating the current post and we can go and check out. Where's the link? There it is. So we can now go and check out how everything's looking. Just scroll all the way down. There should be a map of pretty old Australia. There it is. So that's how you can embed a Google map into an article. This can be quite powerful, especially when you're talking about a place, a location. If you're talking about Australia, throw a Google map in there. If you're talking about Florida, throw a Google map in there. It just might help make that connection to Google, which will help give you the boost. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you smash that like button and show a little bit of appreciation goes a long way. I hope you have a lovely day. Cheers.